Hello and welcome to Veggie Patch Ideas. Today it's all about the polytunnel, greenhouse and what's happening in April. So what we'll do, we'll take you a look around, see what we've got now and then I'll show you, well we'll do a little bit of work in between and then I'll show you sort of what's going in a newly cleared part of a polytunnel. So let's go check it out. So first up we have our early strawberries and as you can see we've got quite a few. These are just coming into flower now so if we can get one in the right light. So this is a great sign and this is a sign we just need to add some high potassium fertilizer so some tomato feed and I'll do that across all the strawberries. Now to get them to this stage I have been putting a little bit of liquid seaweed in and it just helps with the foliage and now I'll switch to the tomato feed. So going down, so now let's look at the newly planted area. We have the Kala Kimchi along with my nemesis Mr. Pak Choi, which is doing absolutely beautiful in here and not being attacked quite yet. And then we've got our mustard streak, which is a lovely purple colour. I'm loving that. Then moving on to the moon red lettuce, more Pak Choi. And then we have some cabbages that are in there, the cone shaped cabbages and the kala kimchi at the end. So this bed has been planted out, it did it last week and in another week this will really start to bush out. And it will look like this on the end. So this needs to come out now some of the lettuce has gone over far too much. Uh, we'll keep the beetroot in and we'll harvest the spring onions because I do like the beetroot leaves. And then on the end we have what looks like a very sad blueberry bush but if you can see closely it's all starting to happen, it's all coming into flower, which is perfect, this is exactly how I want it. But I have neglected to prune this one, so what I'll do, I'll prune this back and I'll just take off all the dead and damaged and diseased the 3Ds uh, branches and we'll tidy it up. Uh, it does have some rotten manure in the bottom, uh, which is going to feed this plant throughout the season, which is exactly what we want. So moving on to our carrot bed, we have some French radish which is pretty much ready to harvest now. Carrots throughout the middle and these are Charisma carrots uh, if, you've, you're, if you're a fan of the show you'll see me sow these in around November, December time and they have come up and they're, they're put on so much growth this month, it's unbelievable. Now this is more Pak Choi, my nemesis, it's growing and I'm not really protecting it, I'm just letting it go. There was a net on here but the carrots have got too big now so they're on their own and uh, let's hope I can enjoy a little bit of pack joy. Uh, so here it is. We have a corner of a polytunnel which is dedicated to Swiss chard and this is a bright lights Swiss chard. I bang on about this quite a lot. Uh, some of it's gone over so this one here it's gone over but the rest are absolutely fine so I'm going to take the big ones out leave the smaller ones in and just continue to harvest because it just keeps on giving which is not a bad thing 
And then we have this empty part of the polytunnel all up that row which what which what I'm going to plant now really and then you follow it up the row and I'll I'll put some rocket in but I didn't put this in long ago I put this in about three weeks ago and it's bolted it's it's grown really fast and bolted so it's no good to anyone when, once these flowers come on we just either need to pinch the tips out take them off and hope it doesn't taste too bitter or just completely get rid of it and this is the stuff that's gone over from before uh, which I was harvesting but now it's gone a bit too far so that'll come out so that'll leave me with a free bed which is always good uh, which I can get planted into so let's take a look see what's going on the bench lots of things going on in here so which is good and it's a great time of year for it so our dwarf beans are coming up tomatoes which desperately need potting on the peppers and if I just get past this table more peppers Gardeners Delight tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, the streak mustard has absolutely flown in these little pots and this will be going outside so I'm really happy with this and I'm just going to let it continue uh, for a bit because I have discovered the, the slugs absolutely love that stuff so uh, challenge number two uh, we've got more tomatoes just cooking away nicely and I don't want these to get too big just yet because we've still got plenty of growing time in the tomatoes uh, more spinach which is what I'll plant into the polytunnel bed right now uh, perpetual spinach that's coming on really well that'll go in the bed as well more tomatoes my dahlia tubers and if you didn't watch the dahlia masterclass uh, give it a whirl uh, I'll try and link it somewhere but they're the dahlia tubers and a tray that desperately needs potting on right now it's the purple sprouting broccoli and the greyhound cabbage so that all needs coming on and as a little added bonus we've done some sunflowers uh, they're always good to have knocking around the place and again some more tomatoes so that's what's going on in here let's get this bed clear and plant it up so Glenna here you say what about your spring onions well this is how we do our spring onions on the tray on the table and we just leave them out no matter what the weather so it has been really really rainy uh, but the spring onions they don't get affected by slugs and snails and they just they're just starting to come out now and that's not all let's take a look in the greenhouse in here we have oh loads of pak choy all coming on some of it eaten some of it not it's not a bad thing it's better than usual some streaky mustard and a bit of slug damage there in the end have a black kale and this if you'll remember this is the propagated gooseberry bushes and these are coming into leaf which is really great news so keep an eye on this pot and keep it watered and we'll see where that takes us then we have our long white radish this should be really in the ground now it's it's with our bright lights tray of lettuce which is always good and some of this will be coming into a polytunnel now and some odds and ends so our sprouts are coming on beautifully in the greenhouse uh, that's a bit of a disaster tray which I've been taking things out of here is my test bed tray which I'm glad I did it because some a lot of these failed uh, the only thing that's well pretty much guaranteed to germinate is the French radish 
and then we have our leeks and we have plenty more seedlings at home as well so the bed's all prepared now we've got some lettuce going in on over here and these will just fill the gaps and again another gap filler some french radish and i've laid out what's going where so the mustard strew the <laughs> streaky mustard more lettuce moon reds perpetual spinach and then just your normal spinach and this will go again next to the bright lights chard which is now all nice and tidied bit of well rotted manure on the base just to feed the bed and we're looking good as always guys thanks for watching and we'll see you next time